Hello YouTube, today a quick tortoise update for you that I have neglected for some many months now. Here is the enclosure in its current form. I don't think I've made any real structural changes. The only changes that you will notice are a few in terms of design. To be honest with you, I don't really remember what the enclosure looked like at the time of my last video because that was many moons ago. Tacky tacky. So moving into the enclosure here, uh, you'll notice the tortoises here. I tend to feed them when I'm doing videos just because they can be very pushy and aggravating if they see me standing here doing anything but providing them with greens. Uh, so Sheldon on the left, or on your right here, and Ms. Shell on the left. Um, and they are enjoying spring mix tonight. And then just to talk about the enclosure as I go through a little bit, uh, we have this little faux succulent garden here. I like to put something between their dishes just because they are less tempted to go over and see if the grass is greener on the other side, uh, if you will. So it kind of creates a visual block and uh, keeps the tortoises in their own dishes. Got our little rock wall underneath the second story here with a burrow underneath. This is a pre-made burrow, nothing too creative about it, but because it is too large to fit anywhere else, I wedged it underneath the second story. Staying on the first level for a moment, we have a water dish, more fake plants, uh, our half-log hide, very loyal one at that. It has been with me since the beginning and has yet to run away. Uh, the basking area over here with aspen bedding. The rest of it is a mix of sand and coconut fiber, as usual. Uh, you'll notice a couple of decorations in here that you may recognize from my other videos. Uh, for the hermit crab and gecko tank, that tank no longer exists, as the animals no longer live here. Um, I'm not going to talk about that in this video, because this is all about the shell beasts seen here. Uh, so we'll, we'll address that elsewhere. Um, very basic changes, like I said. Uh, a little bit of a new decorative touch over there, just more for the tortoises to climb on, more visual appeal. I like to make it natural and entertaining for them. Um, up the ramp to the second story, again, just decorative shit. Um, we have a substrate, if you can call it that, of Timothy hay, which the tortoises will occasionally nibble on if I starve them long enough, uh, meaning for more than two hours, given the, their constant appetite, kind of like me. And uh, re that's really it up here. I keep their cuddle bone up here. I've also hung this light, which I, I don't know, that may or may not have existed in the last video, but it entices them to utilize this side of the enclosure and the second story a little bit more if there's some warmth radiating down. Uh, you'll find out more about this enclosure and the care and lighting and whatnot that I use in various other videos, so if you have questions, check those first, and maybe I will have already talked about something that you're wondering. Um, and that's really it for the tortoise enclosure. I'm probably leaving something out, but I don't really even remember how to do one of these videos. It has been so long. Okay, so you'll probably see the tortoises again in another 10 years.